Inner Sound Meditation is a required course, not an elective one, in Sant Mat. Forget not the way of the sound current, initiation in earlier times, and now. On today's Sant Mat Satsang podcast, a production of Spiritual Awakening Radio. For some, inner sound meditation has become a lost teaching or something that only applies to 1% of the Sangit or Satsang, only a small percentage of the followers get to the initiation of the inner sound and it becomes a kind of lost teaching and spiritual crisis. Inner sound meditation is a required course, according to the Masters, not an elective one just for some small population in True Sant Mat. The following is a discourse, an excerpt from a discourse by Baba Ram Singh dating to August 8, 2015, titled Initiation in Earlier Times, How the Masters Never Forsake Their Disciples. In earlier times, Nam used to be given after a lot of testing of the disciple, a lot of difficult testing. So before Nam would be given, the heart of the devotee would have to be clear and clean for him to be able to assimilate the initiation. That whole process would be through seva or selfless service and darshan, and it would take a long time. So therefore, There were very few devotees who would get Nam. Very few devotees would get Nam because this whole process would take a very long time. It was only after Guru Arjan Dev agreed to change the way of Nam would be given on the request of Bhai Maj, an individual by the name of Bhai Maj, that the process changed. So Bhai Maj also went through a lot of hardship and difficulty before he was given Nam, and he requested Arjun Dev Ji to not have such difficult tests. And that was agreed to by Arjun Dev Ji, Guru Arjun Dev. And once a saint passes an order like that, or agrees to do something, then that becomes law for everybody. After Swamiji Maharaj, the floodgates of initiation opened up and many people would be able to get the initiation because once initiated, the seed of that initiation will always remain planted even if it may take a longer time to fructify. So the seed of initiation, once planted, is permanent. It never gets destroyed. And sooner or later it fructifies. Sooner or later the devotee goes to Sach Khan, the true timeless eternal realm. He's taken to Sach Khan by the masters. An excerpt from a Satsang discourse by Baba Ram Singh, August 8, 2015. Swamiji Maharaj in the 19th century was a disciple of Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras. And after Sant Tulsi Sahib's passing in 1843, Swamiji Maharaj affiliated with his spiritual successor by the name of Sant Gudhari Sahib, based in Lucknow. I have several older podcasts covering that relationship and the details of satsang back then in the city of Agra, also Hathras and Lucknow. The old way of initiation in Santmat, as practiced by Tulsi Sahib and the Hathras Satsang, the Lucknow Satsang, and in earlier times, the time of Kabir, the time of Sandaram Das, Paltu Sahib, Dadu, you know, throughout the history of the Sants, there was a twofold initiation, two initiations, if you will. The first into sacred names or Simran and inner light meditation. And then there was a second initiation into Sarit Shabad Yoga, inner sound meditation. Now, during those times, the population was very small. The population of Satsangis, the disciples or initiates, was fairly small. So, 
people would be taught the, the names, the light meditation, and when they started reporting that they were seeing inner light, the master would then say, okay, you're ready to receive the initiation into sound. One first must be established in the light in order to move on to learning about the sound because it's not just lower sounds of the astral plane or semi-material sounds that is the goal of the path, but higher spiritual sounds. So to be established in the light is very important. And then the disciple can move on to experiencing the inner sound, focusing on the inner sound in meditation. So it's very easy during those... Uh, circumstances in that context of a small population it's easy just to say hey master i'm seeing light can i have the initiation into the sound it's not a matter of millions of followers and great difficulty communicating traveling so what swamiji maharaj did he opened the floodgates one of his innovation one of his innovations was to combine the initiation or diksha into simran and dion with bhajan he combined the initiation of light with the initiation sound people learned the whole practice in one sitting in one initiation one single initiation that's where that began under the the time under the supervision of swamiji maharaj of agra that's when we get one single initiation that combines together the light and the sound meditation. And of course, it makes it easier for people to travel further distances, you know, and sit and learn the whole meditation while they can in the presence of the master. They may have traveled for hundreds of miles or thousands of miles. And so Swamiji helped to open the floodgates of initiation and reach out to a larger population some of those folks living much further away than just you know down the road from an ashram making the path of surat shab yoga more accessible for a greater percentage of humanity I very much agree with Swamiji Maharaj's innovation to combine the light and sound initiation, making one initiation covering the whole practice. And one of his motivations, one of his motives might have been knowledge of Sant Mat history and the trouble, the crisis that sometimes happened with earlier Ponts, earlier Sant Ponts. In some of the groups, if people didn't get to the point of seeing the light, of course, they would never apply for the initiation into the sound. Well, after a few generations, that becomes a crisis. I was in contact with followers of one of those earlier Ponts dating further back into Indian history, and I asked them, do you meditate on the sound you have a sound component to your initiation and they said what sound initiation you know it was completely gone it was completely missing it was completely a lost teaching in search of the lost chord of the masons sort of a thing they did not have knowledge of inner sound meditation or surat shabad yoga that had completely disappeared from their tradition so they had one initiation and they just lost all knowledge about there being a second initiation. That's a serious problem. That's a spiritual crisis. When it goes from some small percentage of the Sangit getting to the sound initiation to zero percentage of the Sangit, you know, uh, that is a serious crisis. So what happened in Sant Mat history we have individuals like Sant Darya Sahib of Bihar and his successors. One of them, I believe, was Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras. They stood up and said, the sound meditation, Surat Shabad Yoga, is a required course for all. It is not an elective course for a few sadhus in the corner 
or some small percentage of the satsang. It is a required course, part of the teachings of Kabir, and we're going to go and found spiritual missions and make that central to the teachings, once again rebooting the path of Sant Mat here during Kali Yuga. Thank you very much. And that's what happened. The following is from a hymn of Sant Darya Sahib of Bahar, who acted to preserve Surat Shabad Yoga during this part of Kali Yuga, the living line of masters, continues on even now into the 21st century. Darya Sahib of Bahar came to the rescue of the path, and his actions are still reverberating through time in this Kali Yuga age. Sat Parush is the living Lord, and his own son serves as the ladder. That ladder is continued through me, says Darya. Fakir Das, Basti Das, and Guna Das are the ladders proceeding from me, his spiritual successors. Whosoever they appoint as their successors would also be known as ladders. Thus will my line of succession continue. Those souls who remain in obedience to these successors shall cross the ocean of the world, this ocean of samsara. How long will this line of succession continue? Kindly relate it to us in your own words, asks Fakir Das. Listen mindfully, O Fakir Das. I explain this to you, says Darya. As long as the path of the sound current is preserved, unadulterated, the line of succession will truly continue. But when it is mixed with outer rituals and display of external garbs, my sound current will part company, my divine essence will depart, and the souls will go into the mouth of Kal, be eaten by illusion, you could paraphrase that as. The souls will go into the mouth of Kal. I shall then come to this world and shall proclaim the teaching of the sound current again. Proclaiming the teaching, I shall found the line of succession. And emancipating the souls, I shall take them to my abode. For eons I have been coming and imparting the teaching of the true sound current. Of the true sound current, says Sant Darya Sahib of Bihar. That is a very cosmic sort of ending. You know, he is speaking not as one individual spiritual master by the name of Sant Darya, but a kind of cosmic figure. Basically, he is echoing there the Anurag Sagar of Kabir. In the Anurag Sagar, Satguru Kabir is portrayed as coming to the world during each of the yugas of time to found the spiritual path and create a line of succession, successor Sant Sat Gurus, to bring the spiritual path to the physical plane. And here he is saying that he would reboot the spiritual path again, you know, if the teaching of the sound current disappears. He is speaking as a kind of cosmic Kabir. Indeed, some believe that Sant Darya Sahib of Bihar was the reincarnation of Kabir. In any case, he certainly acted as the reincarnation of Kabir, acted to preserve the teaching of the sound current and to reboot the path of Sant Mat. And, you know, after him was Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras, Swamiji Maharaj of Agra, and as they say, the rest is history. Maharishi Mehi Paramahans, any tradition devoid of this essential aspect is not true Sant Mat. Maharishi Mehi said, Surat Shabad Yoga is the practice of transcending the mind and entering the level beyond the mind, that is, the level of oneness. The vehicle for this inward journey is sound. 
The way to employ sound and to understand its use is the practical application of Surit Shabad Yoga. This is also known as Nada Sadhana. Surit Shabad Yoga, as the means to attain the unbounded state, is an integral and indispensable aspect of the Sant Mat tradition. Any tradition devoid of this essential aspect is not true Sant Mat. As Maharishi Mehi states, the state beyond the sound is acknowledged in the writings of Sants as the goal of their teachings. In addition, their writings accept Manas Japa, the repetition of the divine name, or Simran, Manas Dhyan, concentration on a form of the divine, Dristi Sadhana, fixing the mind on a point leading to light, and Nada Sadhana, concentrating on the inner sounds of the different spheres as means to reach the soundless state. These four techniques are therefore essential in Sant Mat. As the sound originates from the soundless or nameless state, Anami Parush state, by grasping the sound one is drawn naturally to the soundless state, the Supreme Sovereign God. Upon merging the mind with the sound, there remains only the consciousness, free of the association with the mind. The consciousness free of the mind will be drawn to the flow of sounds, ultimately merging in the state beyond sound, or the Supreme Sovereign God. The internal practice of meditation ends here. The Supreme God is realized, and the work is completed. Maharishi Mehi Paramahans, in the book Moksha Darshan, or Philosophy of Liberation, a manual of Sant Mat mysticism. This is from Swamiji Maharaj of Agra. In the present time, the Jiva soul is unable to do anything else except the bhakti, love and devotion of the Satguru, and the practice of Surat Shabad Yoga. And if anyone resorts to other means or methods, it is like beating about the serpent's hole, which will not kill the serpent. The proper and only effective means of catching the serpent of the mind, controlling the mind, is the worship of Satguru and the practice of Shabda or Shabad. By no other means can it be subjugated. That's from Swamiji Maharaj, Sarbachan Radhaswami Prose, Book 2, Sayings of Swamiji Given in Satsang. An example of parallel verses between the prose and the Sarbachan poetry, by no other means can it be subjugated, and by no other means will it come round. Swamiji said something almost identical in Sarbachan Radhaswami poetry. When one begins to hear Shabd, the inner sound current. One's mind is brought under control. By no other means will it come round. Swamiji Maharaj, once again, this time from Sarbachan Radhaswami Poetry. After the death of Sant Gudhari Sahib, which happened in August of 1860, a few months later, Swamiji Maharaj opened his doors what had been a private, by invitation only, satsang at Panigali in the city of Agra, became open to the public. He opened the floodgates of initiation. He combined the inner light and the sound initiations into one initiation and opened the doors, had satsang, and everyone who was interested was invited to attend. And it grew and grew and grew and... Uh, to some degree, has changed the world since those days. Swamiji was responsible for combining the light and the sound initiation into one initiation and reaching out to a greater percentage of humanity. The following is from Hazur Maharaj Rai Salagram, a successor and disciple of Swamiji, from his Love Discourses of the Lord of the Soul, Prem Patra Radhaswami, Volume 1. When there was no universe, 
the first thing that happened, the first cause, was that a current issued forth from the feet of the Supreme Being, compassionate Radhaswami. This current is the current of Shabda, mystic sound, and of life and light. The entire creation of all the regions, planes, spheres, dimensions, higher or lower, has been brought into existence by this current. The seat of the Supreme Being, Radhaswami Dayal, is within everybody. The spirit currents descended from him, creating Dayal Desh, the merciful region, spiritual realm, Brahmanand or universal mind, and pinned physical plane, material universe or multiverse. From a center inwards between the two eyes, where the spirit has taken its abode in this body, the seat of the soul, third eye, center. It is supplying energy by means of currents to the mind and the senses and this entire frame. As the spirit current alone is the current of bliss, pleasure, and knowledge, it is only on account of it that all those having physical bodies experience pleasure and relish it through the sense organs. Whoever is desirous of reaching the source of this current, which is the fountainhead and reservoir of all bliss, all pleasure, all knowledge, to obtain supreme bliss and eternal happiness, should revert to its source, i.e. the feet of the Supreme Creator, Radha Swami, with the help of this very current. By no other means will it come round. Inner sound meditation is a required course, not an elective one in Sant Mat. Inner sound meditation is intended for all of those who are followers of Sant Mat, not some small percentage. Forget not the way of the sound current. Initiation in earlier times. And now, on today's edition of Spiritual Awakening Radio, our Sant Mat Satsang podcast, a production of Spiritual Awakening Radio. Hope you enjoyed today's program. Wrapping things up, I will share, I will conclude by sharing a verse from a book that Sant Darya Sahib of Bihar quoted quite frequently called The Anurag Sagar, Ocean of Love, Kabir's Ocean of Love. It says in the Anurag Sagar, As long as the soul remains in the body, practice the path of Shabda 